piece is kind of under negotiation. I think it would be quite good, you know. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, so I'm James Putnam, and uh, I'm a, what's called an independent curator uh, and writer, so I write a lot about uh, contemporary art. Uh, and also interested in historical art and museology, all these kind of elements, part of my interest. And um, I used to work as a curator of Egyptology at the British Museum uh, for many years, maybe about 20 years. And then um, in the 90s, I did a big exhibition bringing contemporary art into the historical museum and um, juxtaposing you know, the old and new together. Um, uh, but I'm you know, passionately interested in, in museums generally since I was a small kid, I, I, I used to kind of, um, you know, collect bits and pieces and pretend they were ancient artifacts and put them in glass cases and this kind of thing. This particular exhibition that we're working on here is, is, is a prime example of, you know, how, you know, the contemporary can, you know, have a dialogue with, with, with historical artifacts and how it has a, an interesting um, outreach thing for audiences to, um, to relate to it. So, you know, young people can come and see contemporary art and older people can, um, you know, come and see the uh, historical works and then discover the, uh, the contemporary works where, where they might not normally be interested to go to a contemporary art gallery. But here in a public museum, they have an opportunity to, to engage with, with contemporary art and see how it does have a relevance and a continuity uh, with, with um, you know, the whole history of art. A very interesting artist that actually had a background uh, in, in advertising. Um, she used to make props for advertising and things in, in pre-computer times when you had to make a model of, 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 a, of a piece that was going to be filmed for, for a commercial advertisement. Often she did a lot of famous cigarette adverts from, from the 70s and things, you know, when there was not so politically correctness about, about cigarette smoking so much. But anyway, she, she was always an artist, and um, I think her particular observation was um, always had an element of humor, a little bit of irreverence about, about things. So I think it's inter very interesting to have her in this exhibition where you know, she, she might sort of make these strange um, sort of hybrid combinations of different famous art artworks and also her uh, you know, satirical versions of, of, of famous religious paintings. I think she has sort of acute observations, so she, she sees things that we wouldn't normally see. And, and you know, she's, she's a fantastic, you know, technician. She, she could make any, virtually anything uh, and beautifully, you know, crafted, but with, with a kind of, you know, vision that she, she, she sees, you know, funny, ironical, human, interesting things about, um, you know, iconic works of art. It's quite interesting that um, a lot of the contemporary artists are taking a lot of these um, religious themes, which are um, seemingly ir irrelevant nowadays, as I mean, the artists themselves probably aren't, aren't Christian or, or whatever, but they're taking the Christian iconography and they're taking these, um, you know, these classic subjects like the Pieta uh, and, and things like St. Sebastian and all these things. We think, well, what's that got to do with, with nowadays? It's got nothing to do, but it has, you know, because they're universal subjects and I think, the genius of a lot of the artists was, was that, um, you know, they, they, were take, they, were, they were working with them in a very um, limited um, possibility. Like nowadays, you know, contemporary artists can do anything, but they, they had to do like a crucifixion. But within the, um, in the format of, of, of crucifixion, the restriction within that, they, they could show, you know, in, you know, it had a ambiguity, lots of uh, possibilities. Um, that, that communicate, you know, across time, so that, that that's still communicating with us today, even though we, we might not believe in, in, in the power of the crucifixion, but we would see, you know, that this is a very human, you know, all the human emotions are expressed in these, these, these strange, you know, iconic images.